Here's the Heron at Air Pond, called on Air Closed Circuit TV. And there's a water squirter just here. When he moves, it should trigger it and fry him away. Of course, the water squirter can be filled with water, paint, DNA tracer, or even military grade nerve agent. But of course, we wouldn't do anything like that, would we? There he goes. Let's catch it again. Gotcha. Yeah, the water squirter is uh, straight off the shelf thing. 20 pound off Amazon. And uh, haven't attempted to disguise it. Earlier in the day, 0720, I was less lucky because that same water squirter didn't detect the heron and he managed to get a fish. Most annoying. So at no time did the squirter go off. They work very well on humans, but the heron is right at the threshold. Might better move it to make it better. Or what I'll probably use is one of my others. Now he dropped the fish, but he managed to catch it again. That flash was probably something else of mine. Here's the heron a few days later on a top bridge, which didn't then have a water squirter. And now he spent probably half an hour looking for fish and didn't get any. He moved further along the bridge but still didn't find any fish and of course was watched by other sensors including those cunningly disguised as little birds. It's amazing how drone technology has improved in the years. The heron then made the mistake of going down to the bottom pond. You can see him coming down here. Now the bottom pond was one of the first to have a water squirter defending it. The water squirter is just there. Gotcha! So, a bit more work of maintenance of my water squirters so they work not only on humans but on herons. Thank you.